Well, one of the first things that I did for Bo was try to connect her to the community. And so the first thing I did was to set up a social media account for us, for the Muncie Big Read, because literacy is so important. Several years ago, a student of mine who was a senior and I wrote a paper on Fahrenheit 451 that got published in a fairly small academic journal and uh, Cheng Bo uh, somehow or another uncovered that and said would you be willing to participate sharing your research and your insights on Fahrenheit 451. I'm an instructor at, in the IEI, which is the Intensive English Institute, and we uh, have a lot of international students who take English classes. Sometimes the international students are left out. And we don't want that to happen, because uh, uh, they add so much to any sort of community experience. And so they read the book, and they did some discussions about it, and a little bit of um, application to their own cultures and modern, the modern world sort of thing, and they thought it was really interesting. I thought it was great. I, I'm a big reader myself and an English major, and I value language and communication and sharing ideas. So I thought it was very worthwhile and was really happy to be a part of it. I thought it was uh, effective in a lot of margins. Um, we had several public events where we presented, uh, along with some other folks, uh, ideas about Fahrenheit 451, what it meant. Uh, the most successful one that I recall was the one that was at the public library, where uh, we ended up Skyping in the biographer of Ray Bradbury. People talked about things raise their concerns, uh, use the book as a vehicle to talk about things that were going on in our society today, reflect on what Bradbury had to say, and it was a wonderful event. One of the neat things about working at a university is that we're exposed to so many different ideas or, and different um, disciplines that, that are not our specialties. And so this is an example of that. It's, it's maybe it's not a uh, topic that a lot of people would, in, would do on their own, but if it's available, they might come and have a conversation and then um, and find some interest or some connections with their own uh, disciplines. The one thing that I've noticed is that the books are really classic books, and I think sometimes you have to really hook people in, and while um, a lot of people not be, might not be reading the modern books, they might say, oh, I'll give To Kill a Mockingbird a try, because I've heard of that book. That's been something um, that I heard my grandmother talk about or my mother talk about. So we made it something exciting. We made it something that they wanted to ask questions about and connect to. And so it evolved from there. I think the notion that people were talking about ideas from a common text that was, if not directly accessed by them, most people know the storyline of Fahrenheit 451. They know the basic plot outline. Uh, many of the people had recently read the book, so they were rather fluent in it. It may be people that are interested in these things are the ones that show up and do this kind of discussion. We don't really bring new people in. I hope that's not true. Uh, the couple of things we did on campus, some of them were not terribly well attended, but the dialogue was good. If you had three or four students uh, that would show up and talk about things, good for them. I think any opportunity for people to reflect and share in a civilized way where nobody's trying to bite anybody's head off and no one's trying to get one up on anybody else, it's just, here's a text, let's think about what that means, it, it is very useful. It, it's, I think, one of the best forms of education. The one thing I really liked was the fact that there were a lot of different locations throughout the city wherein they had special events, whether it was at Muncie Public Library, or whether it was at Mom's, or whether it was um, at one of the Unity Centers. Um, I think that is very important because if we can take it to the community and to where people are, those that do not have transportation. One thing I learned when I was working with the state is a lot of times people will come and they will do literacy, but if they don't have transportation, be that a car or a bus or someone to give them a ride, they, they, they can't engage. So we have to give many more opportunities for individuals to engage in the community. I participated in everything, all the, all the different events we had, and one of the events was to go the, to a, some community forums at the Kennedy, at Kennedy Library. And that was really cool, because we get sort of locked into our own 
sphere here at Ball State sometimes. And there are just so many interesting people in the community and thoughtful and, um, and curious and reflective. And it was just really neat to, to hear, to be in an in a environment that was different than what I'm used to with the students and, and still feel like it's a learning community. I think that we probably needed more Goodwill Ambassadors to go out and spread that news. Uh, I have found using or tapping individuals in the community who we consider leaders and some who are, you know, really on the cusp of leadership. Those are the individuals that you want to involve. I think people see familiar faces, but sometimes I think um, it's important to involve those who maybe aren't familiar faces. Again, I think the very grassroots organic piece of this in the community, in the neighborhood, neighborhoods are key. I wish we had better publicity, but that's always an issue on this. The library is limited in what it can do, Ball State's limited in what it can do. Sometimes the audiences were small, but what was made up for in what we lost in quantity, we perhaps made up for in quality. I know it's grant funded, and my hope is that it continues within the East Central Indiana community, and especially the Muncie community, because I think with everything that's happening with MAP and how we're building better communities, that that reading, as they say, is fundamental. And so we, we know that there's not a lot of money uh, to get books into the hands of children, but the more that we're able to do that, the more we're able to promote reading, and especially adults reading. As I said, it connects young people, it gets them excited, because if they see what you're doing, they will model that.